Hello everybody, this is David from goldstartool.com and uh, today I'm going to do a really, really quick video uh, on how to put this number 15 uh, grommet on a fabric, piece of fabric. Uh, we had a customer that called in, uh, had a tiny problem and I said, you know what, I'm going to make a nice video and I'm going to show you how to do it and I'm going to show the world how to do it. Very simple, very easy. As you know, at goldstartool.com, we only do the best of the best. Right, Jasmine? Correct. So this actually is a cutter that I already showed you in one of our uh, videos. Now, if you close up here, Jasmine, this is the blade that cuts. So this turns and cuts, right? So this is the blade. Now, if we use at this setting, it's gonna be cutting only one and one eight, one and three, one and three eight. What, what we need is two inch diameter, okay? So when you buy one of these machines, which is on our website, and this is the way it looks, top, bottom, when you buy this, you actually it actually comes with all these settings, okay? I have showed it in a video before. So what do we need to do? We need to change this setting we're gonna put on a spacer between the the uh, between the knife and uh, this thing that moves around. Okay, so uh, wheel. So there's gonna be a spacer. So how it works? Very easy. There is a whole side right here. You see, right? Mm -hmm. You bring this. very sharp, be careful. You open it up. Now, for it not to move, there is also this tool that you put it inside that hole. Can you do a close up judgment? You see this hole? Mm -hmm. You just move it around and it will go in a spot and you hold it. Meaning that you change, take this and you move it, it will go inside, it will go in. So it will stay, this won't move. Mm -hmm. So you take your screwdriver, right? Put it in there, go through in there. Open it up. You don't need to take the um, screw all the way up because you could move that back. So you see, this one will go out back. Now you also have this tool. If you want to take the blade out and put it back in there, you don't want to use your finger to hurt yourself, right? Everything is taken care of. We thought of everything, right? Now, you could move this thing back. Okay? Go ahead and put your spacer. Now, I'm using uh, the thickest or widest, whatever you want to call it, spacer, and there's a number on it. I think it says 56. Right, does it say 56? Yes. And you just go ahead and you push that thing in there. Right? Do it which way you go in there. I need more room. Right? Ta-da! You want to change the spot with me? Go back here so people could see. Right? See that one? We want this one to go back. And here is, it is my tool. We just want to open this space, space up, right? Mm -hmm. And make sure that there is Just want to make sure there is room. Then all we need to do is to push that. We need more room. Oh yeah, this thing opened up all the way. I didn't. I had no idea. 
All you need to do is to push that thing in there. I'm going to use my Here you go. And then you push this thing in there. My fingers are... I had no idea I have such a big finger. Not really, I never thought I'd do. More, you need more space, Jack, man. I'm, I'm using the biggest, widest setting, so I need more room in there. Okay, see, down there, we need more room down there. That's why I'm gonna use my tweezer to push this back. That should be good. More? More room? Nah. Again, I'm using the biggest, widest setting. That's why I need to see. If you show here, I want to just make sure people know. See, this is the smallest setting that you could do. Mm -hmm. I want to go wider, so we're opening up space here, so we could put the a spacer in there. And by doing that, we could get the setting that we want, but. My finger is too big, and so you gotta make sure you don't use. Uh, your finger because see i opened this up now this thing should actually go in there it better go in there or i'm gonna go in there myself <laughs> let me do it this way are you videotaping still yes this is good that customers see this and make sure that not everything is one two three you know, you gotta do some effort to uh, see that. You push that down. You saw that. Mm -hmm. Now there is a spacer right there. I'll go back in there and tie that screw so the blade is in place. Make sure it's tight. Okay, you bring this thingy out, so you see this thing turns. So by turning, mm -hmm. it's gonna cut the fabric. Now, you also have here a ruler that shows you how deep your fabric is. And here you have a T gauge that you could open up back and forth. So let's say we're gonna keep it here. Okay, and keep it. Now, this is only the part to make a hole on fabric, right? Mm -hmm. So, I'm gonna bring my fabric. I'm gonna press, put it here. Let's say we already know where we're going with this, right? I mean, you ladies, you know. Let's say you know what's going on. You bring this down. You see there's a handle here? Press down. You turn this. You see that? Done. Cut. You see this piece? This is what we just did. Ta-da. All right? You throw this away. Okay? Now, we're done. I'm going to just do one more. So what do we do? We put this bring here. We bring this down. Hold it. Turn it. And bada-bing, bada -bung. Done. One more. Are you, are you with me, Jasmine? Yes. Press down. Oh. Now, as you see, I have changed the usual table that we have. 
the table that usually I make a video is higher, up to my here. Mm -hmm. And this one is lower, and I tell you why. So we're done with this, we put it away. With number 12 and number 15, we only use the super heavy duty. It's bigger, sturdier, nicer, you got this, and works better for these things. You bring your number 15 dice, put it down, this one goes down and drops in. Same way, number super heavy duty and regular duty press machine use, use the same die. You take this and put it up, turn it. Do you know what size is number 15 grommet die, a grommet? Two inch inside, three inch outside, right? Perfect, did your homework. <laughs> okay, you bring your washer, put it on the bottom, okay? Grommet goes like this, so your face is gonna be up. Let's say this is our face of the fabric. Just to make it easier for you guys. See how easy this is goes inside the hole? Even it may be bigger. Is it bigger? No, perfect. You see? That's the way we did. This one goes in here. Or well, let me do it better. Washer, mm -hmm. fabric, and then your male. male part, right? Goes in there. Make sure that you are perfect. I gotta make sure because I'm doing the video and I don't wanna make a boo-boo. Right? Because I gotta do a retake and I don't wanna do that. Now we're perfect, right? Yes. This table have, has to be right here. So you could put your weight on this. That's what we want. See where I am? We want this to be so you could have your full weight on the press machine. Okay, we don't want it to be up here to your chest. Otherwise we don't have enough power. Down and go. And then you're gonna get this. You see? Nice. Now, I'm gonna do two, another one. I'm gonna take this out because I don't push it all the way in. Let's say I'm gonna put, even if I wanna make a, this is how it's going to be, you see? The turn, mm -hmm. right? Even if I do one before the curtain. Wash it on the bottom, grommet on top, the way you see it, push it down. See, done. Now, you gotta make sure when you do this, you have thick, fa I mean, the curtains usually have thick fabric because you can't have really, so what I'm gonna do this time, I'm gonna put this in here, just for you guys to see. Fabric, washer, this is gonna be, this is the way it's gonna be, right? Mm -hmm. See, my holes are too big, but it's okay. We want it to be like this. Put it right underneath there, okay? Mm -hmm. And you go at it. This is how it's going to be. Front, back. Can you do a close up on how it closed everything, the seam? See how nicely it is? Mm -hmm. So that's how you do it. This is the manual. manual drapery hole cutter that you could do many, many sizes. All the way from this tiny all the way to up here. Our hole was a little bit <coughs> Uh, big for this, but we did it. Like if you put it here, this is our washer. It was perfect. I would like it a little bit tighter. You could have gone one number lower, right? Mm -hmm. So this is the color manual. We also have electric electric ones, but this is a um, affordable one. I, I don't know. You know what price is this? I believe it's thirty nine ninety nine. Thirty nine ninety nine or forty nine ninety nine. This one. And this is the super heavy duty one, PM5. The price on this one is $129.99. And if you add the big dies, I think you pay $40 more for a bigger die. But how it's done, there is also hammer and anvil. 
that we have done in one of our videos that you could hammer them. But this is the easiest way, the best way for number 12 and 15 to use to put your grommet, uh, drapery grommets on the uh, grommets or any type of anything else you need. Thank you for watching. This is David from goldstartool.com. Watch our video. Uh, follow us, Facebook, YouTube, share, and uh, all good. Thank you for watching.